Hi guys, it's Sukrit from STEM Coder, and today I will be explaining how to find the area in the pyramid. Hi guys, it's Sukrit, and today I will be explaining how to find the area on the perimeter of a kite. So a, quite, a kite is quite different from all the other four-sided shapes we have covered. In a kite, two of the sides are equal in length, the other two are equal in length, but this side and this side aren't equal in length. So this is a kite over here, and by the way, it gets its name because it is shaped like the kite that flies. These two sides are equal, these two sides are equal, but these, this pair of sides and this pair of sides don't necessarily have to be equal. So yeah, so I'm just going to circle these two sides and put a square around these two sides. Get a bit of marker. So in the kite, we have two types of sides. We have side A and side B. Just try to use A to label the shorter side and B to label the longer side. So since we have two longer sides and two shorter sides, the perimeter is simply going to be 2 times A plus 2 times B. So now let's find the area of the kite. So once again, I'm going to draw a quick visualization for you, similar to what we've done for the past two shapes. So this is a rectangle over here. So a kite has two, two other two more dimensions. So this distance from the top to the bottom of the kite is called the height. And this distance from one end to the other end of the kite is called the width. So you may notice I can draw a rectangle around the kite where the width of this rectangle is equal to the width of the kite and the length of the rectangle is equal to the height of the kite. And one more thing, this kite over here, the area of this entire kite, which I am going to shade in, this entire kite, is equal to half the area of the... This kite is half the area of this rectangle. So I have a rectangle formed by the height and the width of the kite, and that rectangle is half the area of the kite. So naturally to find the area of the kite, I simply have to do one half times height times width. You see why? Because multiplying the height by the width forms this rectangle which is twice the area of the kite so I have to multiply by half. So it's equal to the area of the kite. Let's do a quick practice problem. This over here is a relatively simple kite. It's The height is 6, the width is 3. So area is equal to half height width, which is equal to half times 6 times 3, which is equal to half times 6 is half times 6 times 3 is 18, which is equal to 9. So I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to do some of the practice problems on our website in order to hone your skills. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.